hey guys welcome to another video in this video i'll be teaching you how to make a mandalorian poster starting off by just getting a texture of google this is a old texture i got from google and yeah so now what i would recommend you to do is start off by getting some inspiration so what i did here is just getting some inspiration i took this image and this image both are from Google and from this image I'll be taking the main composition this square you can see it's quite similar if you just yeah this one and I took some colors the orange tones from here um, you can have as many inspiration images as you like you can even make a complete mood board out of it it's all up to you starting off with a background so this is actually a bunch of images mixed together it's not just one image so i'll show you how guys i did that uh, first step is to get this image and next just get another image and you'll have to cut these out you can use the photoshop uh, remove background tool it's up to you and i just added some hue and saturations make it actually feel like it's uh, matching the sky so i am using some orange tones and using brightness contrast and masks to give it a realistic effect and vibrance and levels but i didn't like these big sand dunes at the front here so i added some small ones and just fixed the hue and saturation so that's how i got this image next i just made it smaller and uh starting off i wanted to add the characters as always and just follow my uh, normal process so get an image and I just faded it from the bottom that is how I do it I know some people don't like it but uh, it's just person, personal preference and yeah starting off brightness contrast you can see my settings here and levels photo filter color lookup uh, color lookup is very important what I recommend you do is get multiple color lookups on one layer so you know i'll give you an example further into the tutorial uh, right now just go through it and using blend modes uh, with adjustments is a great tip as always uh, i'm using some rim lights and i'm using the blend mode screen so it gives you this nice look again levels it's okay to use adjustments again and again i do it a lot you can see here and i added a lens flare i do this on most of my posters it's not necessary but in my opinion it gives the posters a better look so next i added the mandalorian spaceship uh for this all i did just cut the image out brightness contrast same procedure uh, you can see my settings here uh levels i am just this looked a little bit too bright for me i kind of lowered that brightness and vibrance lowered the vibrance too and got that orange look using some color lookup color balance sorry and for the filter color lookup as i said i use multiple color lookups so i use it three times here and this is a good example of how you should use it it's a very important uh, adjustment that you should definitely learn and it is very handy so i'm just adding more color lookups here giving it that orange look and because it's flying i'm gonna add motion blur on so that's how it looks i just took all of this merged it and uh erased some parts so that's how i got this effect next up i added this animal i don't know its name but uh leave comment down below what's his name i want to know uh this animal and i wanted to add some orange tones make it feel like it's actually in the composition and brightness contrast made it a little darker you can see my settings vibrance punched up those vibrance and photo filter getting some yellows orange look again and as i said i always use multiple color lookups so that's what i'm doing here and just keep on adding these and then rim lights these really change the look of how this looked so i definitely recommend you do that i am using a vacuum tablet for this but you can use your mouse too i use this setting here up here to add these uh, really sharp looking uh, rim lights next up i added the one and only baby yoda 
who is currently trending all over the internet <laughs> and it was very green first at first uh, i want to add that orange look again to make it feel more natural in the composition adding color balance uh, helps with that so you'll see me use that multiple times in this uh, layer brightness contrast again and again color balance photo filter color balance color lookup sorry and, and again i'm using color lookup multiple times and adding rim lights so it's looking pretty good now you can just see my settings what i'm using here next up i added the trash compactor uh i want to add this since it looked uh, pretty cool the diagonal shapes and whatnot so again it was pretty stale no colors on it no tones i wanted to make it a little you know yellow toned brightness contrast make it darker and adding some contrast with levels vibrance getting some saturation in there um color balance making it yellow photo filter again orange filter and using those color lookups actually i use those five times here so you can see just how useful uh, those are so that's how i got this result oops um and then i just added some rim lights as always and those are the uh, basic main characters the main composition it's looking pretty good now but i wanted to add some lights some uh, source lights so i added some lights behind mandalorian uh, using hue saturation and i want to add these on these other uh, things too so what i did here was i'll try to find this yeah so just adding some more lights here using light and color and then just normal uh, color it makes this look a uh, whole lot better next adding logo you can add this at the start or at the end wherever it doesn't matter just the placement of it is what matters the most and i'll recommend one mistake i did here was this is way too close to the edge when you're making something make sure it's at least this far away from the edge so that's my mistake do not follow that mistake you can see it here as well for this what i did here was just open a new canvas type out the text and use the texture with a blend mode and it gave it that really cool effect so i definitely recommend you check that out and this mandalorian text just got from google and color corrections the most important part in my opinion so as you saw in the inspiration at the start of the video i wanted to get some oranges uh, going this was pretty yellow at this point and i wanted to add some orange tones to it so that's what i did with this color collection uh you'll see let's go through all of these starting off this is basically the main one just sliding the hue slider uh from the left side minus five giving it that orange look color balance getting some uh yellows there but after this point i had another photo filter i thought some blues were lost and it was completely orange so that's what i'm doing in the next steps color use color lookups i'm using those to add some blues back so you can see here my settings adding some blues levels use levels wisely they can really drastically change it for example i'll show you if you just slide it that much it's going to completely ruin the image so use those wisely and this as well next up all i did was it base it was basically done at this point uh, what I do from here onwards is just take all of this, shift click, control J to duplicate it, wait for it, uh, control E to merge it into just one simple layer and I'll show you what I do next. This is what I do for all of my designs by the way. So if we just move it around, you'll see this all unnecessary junk around the poster. We don't need that. Uh, to get rid of that, just get the marquee tool and then just make a selection around the complete image and click layer via cut. What this does is removes all of that junk from your image and now if you just move it, it's just the image itself. So it will really help you out and you should do this at the end of basically every design you make. Next, what I'm doing is adding camera or presets. I'd suggest don't use presets. just it's pretty easy just slide everything around see what works best for you and yeah so i'll just uh, go through here some of these effects 
maybe try to find the one uh, I use for the original design here uh, Mandalorian let's see if you can find it the Mandalorian no that's not it let's find it here I can't seem to find it but uh, practically it's just a filter that I made uh, up really quickly and that's how I got uh, the final image this um, and yeah that's really it so that is really it uh, the tutorial is done let me know if you guys uh, would like to see more of these tutorials on the channel uh, leave your ideas in the comments below like share and subscribe follow me on my social medias at sneaky arts twitter and instagram and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye